This is Savita Valsang. Welcome to my channel, Statistics Made Simple. In this video, I'll define kurtosis, the coefficient of kurtosis based on moments, and I will also solve a few problems based on it. A frequency distribution may show high concentration at the center as compared to that at the extremities. On the other hand, another distribution may show equal concentration throughout the range. Here, the first distribution is said to have high kurtosis compared to the latter. So, what is kurtosis? Kurtosis refers to the peakedness or non-flatness of the curve. The coefficient of kurtosis is a measure which indicates the peakedness of the curve and it is given by beta 2 equal to mu 4 divided by mu 2 square where we know that mu 2 is the second central moment which is nothing but the variance and mu 4 is the fourth central moment. I will now explain the different types of kurtosis which we observe in a distribution. The following diagram shows three types of kurtosis. You see the first one which is in blue color that is called as a leptokurtic distribution and for a leptokurtic distribution the peak of the curve will be very high and beta 2 will be greater than 3. So in this diagram the leptokurtic curve is denoted in blue color. Then we have the normal distribution or the mesokurtic distribution which is in orange color and for such a distribution beta 2 will be equal to 3. So a curve which is neither too peaked nor which is too flat is the normal curve or the mesokurtic distribution. The third curve which you see in green color represents the platycurtic distribution and for such a distribution beta 2 is less than 3. So a distribution which is less peaked than the normal is called as a platycurtic distribution. Some important points to remember is that the normal distribution is taken as a standard for the measurement of kurtosis. How do we interpret the value of the coefficient of kurtosis beta 2? So firstly, a distribution which is as peaked as the normal distribution is called as a mesokurtic distribution and for such a distribution beta 2 is equal to 3. A distribution which is more peaked than a normal distribution is called as a leptokurtic distribution and for such a distribution beta 2 is greater than 3. And a distribution which is less peaked than a normal distribution is said to be platycurtic and for such a distribution beta 2 is less than 3. These are very important points to remember. Problem 1. The first four central moments are 0, 2.5, 0 0.7 and 18.75. Comment on the skewness and kurtosis of the distribution. So it's given that mu1 is 0, mu2 is 2.5, mu3 is 0 0.7 and mu4 is 18.75. So the coefficient of skewness based on moments has the formula beta1 equal to mu3 squared by mu2 cubed which is equal to 0 0.7 squared by 2.5 cubed which is equal to 0 0.49 divided by 15.625 or you get beta 1 equal to 0 0.0314. Conclusion, since beta 1 is equal to 0 0.0314 which is greater than 0, the given distribution is slightly positively skewed. Next, we will find out the coefficient of kurtosis based on moments. So the formula is beta 2 equal to mu 4 divided by mu 2 square which is 18.75 divided by 2.5 square which is equal to 18.75 divided by 6.25 or beta 2 is equal to 3. 
So the conclusion, since beta 2 is exactly 3, the given distribution is mesocurtic. Problem 2. In a frequency distribution, the first four central moments are 0, 4, minus 2 and 2.4. Comment on the skewness and kurtosis of the distribution. Solution given mu1 is equal to 0. You know that mu2 is nothing but sigma square which is equal to 4 which implies that sigma is equal to 2. And mu3 in this case is negative which is equal to minus 2 and mu4 is 2.4. The coefficient of skewness based on moments. Here we know that mu3 is negative. So whenever mu3 is negative we will use Carl Pearson's gamma coefficient in the simplified form which I had explained in my previous video. The formula is gamma 1 equal to mu3 divided by sigma square into sigma. Actually, the denominator is sigma cubed. Now, only for simplification purpose that sigma cubed in the denominator is written as sigma square into sigma. That's why in the given part also, I have found out what is sigma. Substituting the values in gamma 1, you get minus 2 divided by 4 into 2, which is equal to minus 2 by 8 or gamma 1 is equal to minus 0 0.25. So the conclusion is since gamma 1 is equal to minus 0 0.25 which is less than 0 the given distribution is negatively skewed. This is the coefficient of kurtosis based on moments. The formula is beta 2 equal to mu 4 by mu 2 square which is equal to 2.4 divided by 4 square which is 2.4 divided by 16 or we get beta 2 is equal to 0 0.15. The conclusion since beta 2 is equal to 0 0.15 is less than 3, the given distribution is platycurtic. Problem 3. In a frequency distribution, the first four central moments are 0, 8, minus 17 and 360. Comment on the skewness and kurtosis of the distribution. Solution given mu1 is 0, mu2 is nothing but sigma square that is a variance we know which is equal to 8 which implies sigma is equal to root of 8 that is 2.83. Here I have taken only two places after the decimal after rounding off and mu3 is negative which is minus 17 and mu4 is 360. So the coefficient of skewness based on moments here since mu3 is negative, we'll use Carl Pearson's gamma coefficient in the simplified form. So gamma 1 is equal to mu3 divided by sigma square into sigma, which is equal to minus 17 divided by 8 into 2.83, which is equal to minus 17 divided by 22.64, or gamma 1 is equal to minus 0 0.7509. Now since gamma 1 is equal to minus 0 0.7509 is less than 0, the given distribution is negatively skewed. Now we'll compute coefficient of kurtosis based on moments. The formula is beta 2 equal to mu 4 by mu 2 square which is 360 divided by 8 square or 360 divided by 64 which gives beta 2 equal to 5.625. Now since beta 2 is equal to 5.625 which is greater than 0, the given distribution is leptocurtic. It's been a great experience creating all these videos for you. This video I come to the end of the chapter measures of dispersion. Thank you all for watching and continue to look forward to my videos on the channel Statistics Made Simple.